this is a ballpoint with many colors and I'm going to try to make a drawing using this ballpoint and uh, let's see what it can do. So I want to start with the green. This is a Madonna by Raphael and let's hope that all the <laughs> separate colors actually work. And first I want to make some sort of basic drawing in green. So first I'm going to draw this Madonna by Raphael roughly. And later on I will add more colors to it. So here we have the basic uh, sketch and now I'm going to add tonal values using this green color and this is just a sort of underdrawing. So this is the basic stage of the drawing in color. And it's not a particular brand, this. Um, this was a very cheap one, but they sell these uh, in, in several <laughs> sorts. So, but, but the basic idea is just that there are a number of colors, uh, you know, there were also packages with all kinds of separate ball points, but I thought, hey, <laughs> this is, uh, you know, it's, it saves space. <laughs> anyway, so now I'm adding hatchings in the face to get the tonal values right. I actually like working with ballpoint. Uh, you can work very smoothly, very, uh, I don't know, very subtle things are possible. At a certain moment, uh, I often get these, uh, you know, that there's too much ink, <laughs> that it leaves a sort of trace and, uh, but that's an, that can be a nice characteristic of it as well. I mean, it can be annoying if you have a very clean way of drawing, but I don't really have a very clean way of drawing. You cannot accuse me of that. <laughs> so you could, uh, if you draw like me, then it doesn't really matter if there's some sort of <laughs> strange ink to ink uh, blob somewhere floating around it might enhance the drawing a bit even so now I, I still have this area with no hatchings and this is the lightest area so this should be lightest but all this should should be slightly darker than the forehead it 
and you have this tip of the nose and the chin so I have to be careful with that as well And it won't be long before I will use another color. Let's make this drawing in itself a nice one. So we have a good basis to work from. Just this line a bit. And now I want to use another uh, color I'm going to fall red the color red so let's see what it does I want to adjust the mount a little bit the placement of the mount is not really good but I am adding red all over the place so carefully I'm building up a sort of skin tone with the green as a sort of Underdrawing in, in painting, you have underpainting, and you have certain old master paintings which have a green sort of underpainting, especially medieval icons, I believe, have green underpaintings below the skin. And you go to Florence or a place like that, or to a museum, uh, and you see medieval icons or early renaissance works then and you can see that if I co remember correctly I think I especially remember from icons that I saw And here we have this pink piece of clothing, so that's nice to just make make this uh, hatching of reddish colors. And this is blue, but I add a little bit of subtle red hatching, so every part has red hatchings, but I am differing the, let's say the intensity of it even this part I give a little bit of subtle hatching
and I must say I really like this technique but uh, when you make a drawing in ballpoint uh, if you hang it on the wall you hang it for an extended period of time on the wall uh, it will fade away so uh, it's not archival um, if you want to hang it on the wall you want to keep the drawing as it is I would advise you to make a color copy or a photograph of it you know you can make a high quality reproduction by making a photograph of it and uh, print that out and hang that on the wall and keep your drawing out of the light so you can enjoy it when you occasionally watch it look at it but um, in time it, 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 will, it will just fade away when you hang it on the wall that's that's the you know it's not archival but it's it's fun to to work with and I think that if you put it away if you do not do not expose it to the light then it, it, it will stay quite well I think if you you know put it in some sort of book or anything and uh, I'm not sure what these colors will do to be honest in the long run but it's good to to make a decent s scan with the computer or a good photograph and I'm looking at this area here should I make it dark or not Now it has quite some red and it's time to look at other colors to enhance it so I would like to add some blue now because there's quite a lot of blue and I think that is a nice addition with you know this is the first thing the blue is quite light so maybe I add some purple later on I actually like this color blue by the way so I'm using this blue also in her face and I just vary the intensity I like the coolness of this blue as an addition to the red and the greens in her face but I think I'm going to use some purple to make things darker if it's uh, I hope the purple is dark <laughs> quite dark I haven't tried it yet bit of background hmm. I thought I wanted this here as a sort of air and, and sea I think but I didn't really like this uh, there's a fly flying around here oh there I have an inked spot anyway um, 
I'm looking at the colors that I have actually because I haven't used this before so uh, I find this uh, this orange interesting as well and this uh, purple since I'm using all these colors I tend to avoid this black because black is uh, I, I, I try to use only colors now so I'm, I'm using I'm, I'm going to look ah this is a bit darker so this is nice I don't know how dark I can get it but yeah I'm glad this purple is relatively dark so I can make some transitions from dark to light in, in my drawing now and I also want to use this purple in all of the face but now first I want to do those areas that I want to have darker I think I made this a little bit too dark. <laughs> oh boy. That's the thing, you cannot erase this. So, I think I wanted to have a dark area, but I'm not sure. Maybe I was too enthusiastic, but I'm just going along with this and see what I can make of it. to do uh, very broad tonal values.
and maybe it, it gets a, a very purplish tone now. And let's see what I can do with another color now. Although I want to use some more purple right now. So let's see uh, which color have I had yet. So red I've used, green I've used, blue I've used. There's this orange. It's the only one I haven't used, I think. So now I'm going to use orange in my drawing. And oh, I like the effect. It, it gives the drawing which is now mainly purple-ish a little more liveliness I think a little more color And now I want to use purple to make this here a little more pronounced. A little bit too pronounced. And now I'm going to vary a little bit using different colors. blue here and I'm looking for the areas in her face that might be a little bit cooler to use blue in
and I want to make this a little bit darker. And I must not do too much now on this drawing anymore because I'm starting to reach a phase that uh, it's a bit over overdone. <laughs> Especially here, it's it's a bit too much already. But I'm not totally done yet. some last things to use green now to make it a little bit richer in certain parts and I'm going to say well this is what I can make of it now not sure if it's in all parts very good drawing but I found it interesting to make this and uh, maybe you can try this as well. These these small points you can get them here and there, or you can just buy uh, several ball points, all colored markers, or whatever. <clears throat> but thank you very much for your attention, and please subscribe.